I'm hoping you can help me find the person or people that saved my life this past weekend. I was running the Key West, Florida half marathon on Sunday, January 15th. And I was, as I was rounding the corner for the finish line, I got tunnel vision, went down on a knee, tapped a bystander on the arm and told him that I was about to faint and then blacked out and I don't remember anything from there. This is the first time these heroes are together since this event. Please welcome Amy, Lisa, and Robbie. So this is, this is the first time that y'all are together? Yeah, this is the first time we've seen each other since the race back in January. And all three of you are nurses? We are. Yes. Well, let me, let me first of all, uh, thank you for dedicating your lives to that noble profession. It's, uh, it's, it's an incredible thing to do with your life. And I speak on behalf of all of us. Um, and uh, where do we start? I mean, take us back to that day and, and, and tell everyone what happened. Uh, I had just finished the half marathon and I was waiting at uh, the end for my friends to finish and I saw this gentleman walking, he had been running and he started walking over to the, the curb and I thought to myself, don't stop now, you're almost there. And I turned to my husband and I said, let's go closer so we can see our friends better. And that's when I noticed he was flat on his back. I ran up to him, I rubbed his chest, there was no response. Um, and that's when Lisa and Robbie came in. And I saw him laying there and um, checked for a pulse and he didn't have a pulse. So I started mouth to mouth and... and Robbie were... started CPR. Gosh, that, thank God for you. I mean, that's just <laughs> incredible. What, what, did, what did you feel when you saw the video? I had... I first saw the video when my friend texted me and called me and, and she tagged me on Facebook. Um, it was so overwhelming to see how great he looked compared to when I had seen him last. Right. His, his face was wonderful <laughs> and he was talking. Right, yeah. and I had gone back to Illinois. I'm from Northwestern Illinois and I, uh, one of my friends had tagged me in the video when I posted my pictures on Facebook and I said, learn CPR and then do it if you need to be. Don't be afraid to do it. And one of my friends said, is this, Lisa, is this your guy? And I was just overcome with emotion still when I saw the video sure. backstage. That it oh, just it's, is amazing. It's, it's very powerful. Involved. Robbie, let me ask you a question. I took CPR maybe 10 years ago and I felt like I paid attention and I was able to, to use it if I needed to, but then a couple of years passed and I feel like, and I'm being totally frank with you, if I had to do it now, I'm not sure I would remember. I guess the lesson here is maybe take a refresher course or... Well, the, the guidelines are updated about every five years, the American Heart Association updates them. And for the most part, for forever and ever, it's always been airway breathing circulation, but r the most recent changes in 2015 were compressions first. Okay. So now, you know, I mean, not to say you don't need retraining or people don't, don't need to, but it emphasizes the most important thing when it comes to the CPR is do good quality chest compressions, and they've found that that is the most important thing to get return of spontaneous circulation. Mm -hmm. You know, this is sort of a confusing time uh, in our country for everyone, sort of no matter what you believe, but we all are human beings. We're all God's children. And the fact that you all uh, ha had uh, what it took to stop and help, help a fellow a human being, uh, th these are the types of messages that I really love to share uh, with America because they're important for us to, to hear, I think. Really important. So there is something I want to tell you. Uh, I have a little surprise for you. There's someone here who wants to say thanks to the three of you uh, for being the heroes that you are. Please welcome Bill and his wife, Becky. Good job. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Welcome, Bill. Thank and you. Welcome, Becky. It's really nice to see y'all. What would you like to say to these three heroes? 
from our family, my friends, loved ones, um, we can't thank you enough for what you did. I mean, just stepping in, jumping in, um, you know, really just devoting sort of every amount of energy you had to saving my life that day it was incredible. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and from our family. It really, it really is incredible. I got to say, you look fantastic. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel uh, really good physically. You know, the, the um, waking up in the ambulance was, was kind of a shock to me. I, I thought I'd fainted. And then to learn that uh, what had happened was even more of a shock. But physically fine. There's an emotional aspect that comes sure. with it. But that's been ongoing, and I think it's uh, coming along quite well. Becky, what do you have to say to these folks? Oh, I mean, words can never fully express, you know, um, the gratitude that we have for you guys. I mean, the fact that he's sitting here with us today. Um, yeah, I just, I can't imagine life any other way. So I hope everybody takes the um, lesson from this and gets CPR um, for training. For sure, yeah. for sure. That's a great lesson for all of us. It's been a real honor for me to have you all up here and, uh, and, and have you share your story. It's uh, absolutely incredible. I'm so glad to be a part of it. Thank you to Amy, to Lisa, Robbie, Bill, and Becky.